Hi, I'm Judy Lynn with HarmonicLivingNow.com and welcome to the Monday Morning Shift. I've had a few people email me in the last couple weeks asking me if I would do a video on panic, panic attacks. So I thought, what better time than right now to put one out. Now panic attacks are interesting because you may or may not know why one is coming on. You may be in the middle of a stressful situation or life circumstance, or you may be thinking about something that brings on this panic attack, and sometimes it just hits you. It just comes on full blown, and you have no idea why, at least no conscious idea why. There's not a lot known as to why people get panic attacks, so what can be done about them? Well. I'm going to lead you through an EFT exercise today if you are one who suffers from having panic attacks. And we'll see if that doesn't give you some sort of relief. Okay? So I want you to start with the side of the hand and I want you to repeat after me. Now I'm going to use the pre preface that we don't know what's causing this attack, but if you do know, I want you to put that in there. Just speak your truth and tell exactly what's happening for you. You know, whatever is happening in your life, if you know that that's what's bringing this panic attack on or you suspect it, trust in that suspicion and just plug those words in there. Okay, so side of the hand, repeat after me. And you can do this when you first start feeling that attack coming on, okay? You can do it at any point during the attack, but best when you first start feeling it come on. Just sit down and do this. All right. I'm feeling it coming on. Here comes that panic attack again. I'm having a hard time breathing. I'm just going to honor how I feel right now. Even though I'm having a really hard time breathing, concentration is escaping me. This feels awful. I love and accept who I am anyway. Even though this panic attack doesn't make sense to me. I hate this. I'm going to accept who I am and how I feel. Let's go to the eyebrow point. I'm having trouble breathing right now. My chest is feeling heavy. My heart is racing so fast. It's terrorizing. It's immobilizing me. I feel completely immobilized, frozen in fear. I'm frozen in fear right now. This fear, this unknown fear in me, I'm feeling it big time. It's in my body. My heart is racing. I'm having a hard time breathing. My hands feel numb. Oh, I really am having a hard time breathing. All this fear in me. I wonder what that fear is about. I wonder if I could let it go. All this fear, the terror, I'm feeling it in my body. It's consuming me. All this fear. I want you to just keep tapping through the points and just saying what's happening for you. Just speak your truth and exactly what's happening. And if you can't say anything, I want you to just think it as you tap through the points, okay? All this fear, this terror I'm feeling. I'm so boxed in right now. Maybe I can release this. Maybe this tapping thing will work for me. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be awesome to have this work? Feeling the calmness. 
feeling my heart slowing down to a normal pace. Feeling the calmness setting in. Calming down. Feeling peace. Releasing that terror. Letting go, letting the fear just pass through. Feeling the peace, feeling the calmness. Just breathing. Just noticing my breath. Being aware of my body relaxing. Calming down. Feeling peace. Allowing myself to just process all of this. Releasing the fear, the anxiety. Feeling the peace in my body. I sincerely hope that that tapping around helped bring you out of that tap, uh, out of that panic attack. I want you to continue tapping when you're in the tamp panic attack on the things that you're feeling and what's going on with your body until you start feeling it subside and then go into the posit more positive round of the tapping segment that we just did, okay? All right. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Please, if you haven't already, sign up for the Monday Morning Shift where I'll be sharing with you my new three-step process that will take you from frustration and disappointment, feeling loss and that overwhelming sense of loneliness from either relationships or perhaps a change in careers to being amazingly charismatic, joyful, and enthusiastic about life once again. Until next week, you guys. Mwah! I love you. See you then.